I'm going to show you how to fill out your slide in your group in case you need help while I'm not available. Here's one for someone named Peter the Great, who we didn't get to in this unit, but he's uh, a leader of Russia at the time we're talking about with a great deal of power. Now, one of the problems he had in Russia was just the size of that country. It's a gigantic country. And so one of the things he uh, tried to do is try to bring it closer together and also to try to uh, reach a place where he could have a port or a city that was uh, available all year round because it's fairly far north and it's very much a land-based country. So the challenge for Peter the Great was to westernize whoops, geographical challenge. It also is kind of a military because his response So we decided to engage in war. And so this is the challenge. This is his response. Now, a couple other things uh, we want to make sure we include here. Uh, you can get information about that particular thing from a number of websites. This is the one I use, so I'm going to copy and paste it here. And I also need a picture of him to put on my slide. So I'm going to go slide, uh, excuse me, I'm going to insert image, search the web, and better. So it comes in, I obviously need to do some resizing for it to make sure it fits in that space. Um, if I want to, I can make it a little smaller, or you can also use this tool to crop it if you need to. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it should pretty much fit there, so it's worth looking at. Uh, so I've got Peter the Great, he westernized Russia to find a new way to keep the trade open with the West. He um, engaged in war with Sweden so he could capture the city on the uh, on the Baltic Sea and uh, establish a new capital, St. Petersburg, named after him, by the way. So I might ask myself and ask my group members, well, how did he do? Was that a good response? Did he, was he successful? Well, um, yeah, St. Petersburg is, is no longer the capital, but it certainly is a major city. It seems like he used his strength to achieve a goal to defeat a challenge. So I might give him a grade of uh, B plus, A minus. I don't know if I really support his strategy. Maybe I do. So maybe A, maybe an A minus. Not perfect, but pretty darn good. And that's what we need to do. Now at this point, now that I've done all this, I can delete the instructions. I can put in the names of the group members. And if I want to do any sort of, you know, cleaning up, playing around with the color and things like that, you can. If you have time, come down here to slide, change background. And you can change the color of the background. Oh, that's not going to work because now I can't read everything. But I can also change the color of this background. And maybe I want this one to be um, a different color. Maybe I want it to stick out. There you go. Okay. Uh, looks like I covered up the circle for some reason, but that's okay. I can play around with this I'd like. That's not a huge deal. Maybe this needs to be smaller. Um, can't change the color of the circle because it's on the background, but yeah, this works fine. That's good enough for me. And there you go. Be sure to ask questions if you have them, and we'll move on from there.